Kendrick Lamar has become one of the most loved and respected rappers in the last 10 years, dropping albums that fans declare classic not long after being released. His music is seen as different than the average rapper, as Kendrick seems to touch on more conscious topics in his music. People see Kendrick as some sort of savior of hip-hop, the last real rapper left. They almost see Kendrick as a hip-hop revolutionary and activist who is trying to bring change to the world with his music. This is something that Kendrick himself has heavily bought into, presenting himself as of recent as holy and righteous. But is Kendrick really what he is claiming to be? Or is he just like the rest of the rappers? What if I told you that Kendrick was actually worse than most rappers? If you ask why, because he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Hey guys, I hope all is well. Welcome back to The Truth Is, where I drop new videos every other day exposing the truth. In today's episode, we will be talking about the truth about Kendrick Lamar and proving that he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Some of this video is a remake of my original video on Kendrick from over two years back. I wanted to update it because I have noticed that many of my new subscribers are being deceived by Kendrick and believe that he is different from the rest of the rappers. Let's get right into it. Kendrick Lamar is one of the biggest rappers in the world. For the last few years, Kendrick has been looked at as one of the rappers a part of the big three, which are Drake, Kendrick, and J. Cole. He has been able to make it to a level in the music industry that very few artists make it to, which is strange for a rapper like Kendrick, who doesn't fit the mold of the average rapper. Most people listen to Kendrick feel that he is unlike the mainstream rappers. They feel that his music doesn't often talk about the same concepts that all the rappers touch on. While most rappers are rapping about money, cars, and women, Kendrick is is rapping about the challenges faced by black Americans living in America. But even while making songs like this, he was somehow able to go mainstream. This is something that is rather surprising, as music that is deemed conscious normally doesn't receive mainstream attention. But somehow, Kendrick was on the world stage receiving praise and support from the entire industry and made it to the top. This simply doesn't make sense, as everything the music industry stands for, Kendrick seems to be against. So why is the industry so supportive of Kendrick Lamar? Why has the elite in the music industry chosen Kendrick to be one of the big three? Why did they show so much support and love to him knowing that he is preaching a message that goes against the industry? To most Kendrick fans, they just believe that he is so talented and his music is so good that it allowed them to make it to the top without compromising. But boy are they wrong. The truth is, Kendrick isn't who he seems to be. He is not a hip-hop savior. He is a deceiver, a wolf in sheep's clothing. After making these videos for three years, I have noticed two types of people watch my content. Those who truly want to find the truth and end up accepting the fact that none of these mainstream rappers should be trusted. Then we have the other group of viewers who watch me expose artists they don't like and agree with my video because they don't like the artist. But the moment I make a video presenting the same evidence on someone that they do like, they get mad and refuse to accept the truth. If you're truly here to hear the truth, you must understand that the truth isn't always going to be something you want to hear or agree with. But it still remains the truth whether you like it or not. The truth is, Kendrick Lamar is a puppet, just like the rest of them pushed to the world by mainstream music. The mainstream music industry wouldn't push his music if he were truly going against the industry. You can't realize that every rapper in the industry is a puppet, but then think that Kendrick who's a massive mainstream artist is not. That makes zero sense. If Kendrick was against the industry, he wouldn't have a career. He would be an underground rapper you never heard about. In fact, Kendrick got famous by making songs like every other rapper, something that most people seem to have forgotten. His first hit songs like Swimming Pools and Don't Kill My Vibe were songs about the same themes every other rapper raps about, using substances, drinking, and partying all the time. It wasn't until years into his career that Kendrick started to change his image and music direction. Kendrick was signed to a major record label since day one, and he is still signed to a major record label to this day. I have seen so many people comment under my video claiming that Kendrick is an independent artist. These people truly don't do any type of research before making these comments, as simply googling Kendrick, you can find that he is 100% signed to a major record label. See, Kendrick releases his music through his own record label called PG Lang, which has a distribution deal with Interscope Records that's owned by Universal Music Group, the biggest record label in the world. A distro deal is basically the same as a record deal with just more leverage on the artist side, but a distribution deal is a record deal. By Kendrick signing this deal, the record labels fronted Kendrick a large amount of money for a percentage of the profit his music makes. Just like a regular record deal gives the label power over the artist, so does the distro deal. The label still has to approve songs before they come out. They still can choose to stop songs from coming out and even alter them if they please. It's the same exact deal, but those with a distribution deal have more leverage on the money split side. 
but it still remains that the label controls Kendrick just like they control every other artist. None of these celebrities the elite put in your face are on our side. That goes for Kendrick, Tupac, and Michael Jackson. All of these rappers had record label support and were made stars by the elite. The elite wouldn't be pushing these artists if they were truly working against them. Just think about that. Why would they make Kendrick such a big star if you were really pushing a message against their agenda? It's not happening. Kendrick is a puppet being used to deceive and by the end of this video, you will see that Kendrick isn't who he seems to be. There's a reason why the elite made Kendrick such a big star even though he's a quote unquote conscious rapper. This is how the elite are able to deceive the people that don't fall for the simple industry themes. The people who aren't hypnotized by the money, women, and jewelry. The people who are not falling in line with their agenda. So they create rappers like Kendrick that they can use to deceive them with. As much as you don't want to hear this, Kendrick is an industry plant. Kendrick was recruited at an early age. His first ever mixtape was released under a record label when he was only 16. Before he had any actual fame and recognition, he was already touring with big names and getting co-signs from the hottest artists. He was signed before he had any real buzz and he was developed by TDE, which was owned by Interscope and UMG. Kendrick was put on Drake's tour when he was a nobody in order to get him a buzz. This was the labels pulling the strings to create his career. He got all this mainstream support from day one. This is because he was chosen. Kendrick is a sellout. He sold this soul like every other rapper and he has been showing us this the entire time. In order to become a star in the music industry, you must take the Masonic Oath. You must pledge to serve the Masonic agenda. Kendrick Lamar is 100% a Masonic puppet and I have plenty of evidence to prove it. Not only does Kendrick use Masonic symbols, but he also uses secret Masonic words in his music. We see a perfect example of this in Jeezy's song American Dream that Kendrick is featured on. In the song Kendrick raps, I hear the world calling, tell me if you all in. Look, look, I gotta eat, I gotta make money with, I gotta feast, I gotta rely on what's known to the traveling man. Set his own, got my Bible and my rifle in my hand. While this might seem like just another regular verse with nothing to it, there's actually a secret Masonic phrase hidden in it. In this line where Kendrick says, I gotta feast, I gotta rely on what is known to the traveling man. He is talking in Masonic code. The Freemasons have secret ways to identify each other. They use hand grips and secret phrases. One way Masons who don't know each other identify each other is by asking the question, are you a traveling man? Which literally means, are you a Freemason? This is what Kendrick is referring to by calling himself a traveling man. This is Masonic code and Kendrick is indeed a Mason. We can find plenty of proof of this when we take a look at his lyrics and the imagery in his music videos. In plenty of Kendrick's songs, he let us know that he sold his soul to have the world, that he is a puppet being used by the elite. In his song named Kendrick Lamar, he states that he will never sell his soul, but if you carefully read the lyrics, he admits to doing just that. In the song he raps, so just to get a dollar would I sell my soul? I look the devil in the eyes and tell him hell no. They say anything worth having is worth the wait. Well I want the world, tell him how long that takes. There's no time like now, I'll cut my patience short. Even though Kendrick starts the line by saying he would never sell his soul to have the world, by the end of the line, he confirms that he compromised and sold his soul. The first line is telling us that Kendrick wanted the world but didn't want to sell out. But then he goes on to tell us how hard and how much longer it would be to make it on his own. So he cut his patience short and sold his soul and took the deal. Kendrick knows that in order to make it to the top, he has to sell his soul. Or he can take the long route, which isn't guaranteed. Even though he didn't want to sell his soul, he still in his own words wanted the world so he was willing to cut his patience short and take the deal for a faster and easier route to the top. This isn't the only song Kendrick refers to making a deal with the devil. As in his song For Sale, Kendrick raps about this exact same thing. In the song we see Kendrick having a conversation with a person he calls Lucy. Now who's Lucy you may ask? It's a nickname for Lucifer. If we look at the genius breakdown of the song, they tell us themselves that Kendrick is referring to Lucifer as Lucy. Genius said this about the song. The song offers a deeper insight into the previously introduced figure of Lucy, a character representing Lucifer. As the song goes on, it is understood that Lucy is short for Lucifer, hence the lines about temptation and signing contracts. Now, when we look at the conversation between Lucy and Kendrick Lamar, we can see that Lucy was offering Kendrick the world, just like he did to Jesus. 
You said to me, you said your name was Lucy. I said, where's Ricardo? You said, oh no, not the show. Then you spit a little rap to me like this. When I turned 26, I was like, oh, you said to me, I remember what you said. You said, my name is Lucy Kendrick. You introduced me, Kendrick. Usually I don't do this, but I see you and me, Kendrick. Lucy give you no worries. Lucy got a million stories about these rappers that I came after when they were boring. Lucy gonna fill your pockets. Lucy gonna move your mama out of Compton inside that gigantic mansion like I promised. Lucy just wants your trust and loyalty. Avoiding me? It's not so easy. I'm at these functions accordingly. Kendrick, Lucy don't slack a minute. Lucy works harder. Lucy gonna call you when Lucy knows you love your father. I'm Lucy. I loosely heard prayers on your first album, truly. Lucy don't mind, cause at the end of the day, you'll pursue me. Lucy go get it. Lucy not timid. Lucy up front. Lucy got paperwork on top of paperwork. I want you to know that Lucy got you. All your life I watched you, and now you're all grown up to sign this contract if that's possible. In these lyrics, Kendrick is referring to the moment he sold his soul. He is telling us how the devil approached them and offered them the world. Kendrick even implies that this deal with the devil was for his record contract, as in this line he states, now you're all grown up to sign this contract if that's possible. Kendrick sold his soul long ago and is now being used to misguide the masses. Kendrick doesn't only tell us this in that song, as he again raps about making a deal with the devil in one of his unreleased songs that is titled Untitled 03, 05-28-2013. You can find the lyrics to the song on Genius. In the song, Kendrick admits that he sold out and became a puppet for the elite. In the song he raps, a peace of mind, that's what the white man wanted when I rhyme, telling me that he is selling me just for $10.99. If I go platinum from rapping, I do the company fine. What if I compromise? He said it don't even matter, you'll make a million or more, you live in better than average, you're losing your core following, gaining at all. He put a price on my talent, I hit the bank and withdrew, put myself in the rocket ship and I shot for the stars, look at what you're accomplishing. What he said to the boy, I'ma make you some promises that you just can't ignore. Kendrick admits that he is compromising his morals and soul for the world, but like he said, they put a price on his talent and he hit the bank and withdrew, meaning he sold out to the elite who gave him the world. Looking at the imagery in Kendrick's music video also tells us exactly what we need to know. Kendrick presents himself as a Christian and a follower of Christ, but if we look at his All of the Stars music video, we see him worshipping the old pagan gods. The All of the Stars music video starts with Kendrick being shown as a god. He is shown on a boat that's being held up by a sea of people. This is a representation of Kendrick being enlightened through the occult teachings. He is also showing himself as a god being worshipped by the masses. At the end of the video, we see Kendrick giving praise to the old Egyptian gods. This is very telling and contradictive. Kendrick claims to be a Christian who worships Christ, but is showing us he is praising the old pagan gods, something that God forbids in the Bible. This makes zero sense, but it doesn't, as those who watch this channel know that the Masons get all their rituals and practices from ancient Egypt. Their Masonic rituals are meant to channel these deities. Aleister Crowley built this entire occult religion of worshipping Egyptian gods, and that's exactly what SZA and Kendrick Lamar are doing in this video. SZA is another artist that's an occultist, and I believe a full video is needed on her. If you guys want to see a full video on SZA, comment SZA below. From this video on, Kendrick started taking on this Christ-like figure. We see this persona fully embraced in his N95 music video. The entire video is just Kendrick presenting himself as Christ. Kendrick starts the music video with a young boy looking at Kendrick levitating over the ocean as if he were a god. Clearly, once again, we see Kendrick depicting himself as a Christ-like figure. The scene then changes to show Kendrick rapping next to a woman wearing a Masonic checkerboard skirt. This video is full of instances where it compares Kendrick to Jesus, as they show him walking on water just like it said Jesus did. The video ends with Kendrick levitating over the world. The message is clear as day. Kendrick is presenting himself as the Antichrist. Even on the album cover that this song is on, Kendrick is shown wearing the crown of thorns, depicting himself as Jesus. In his music video for his song, Caught Me Out, we see more suspicious imagery coming from him. The video starts with Kendrick at a therapy session and immediately we can spot the Masonic duality as Kendrick is dressed in black while the therapist is dressed in white. In the opening scene, Kendrick tells his therapist that he thought his time was up and then continues to tell her a story about an incident that happened to him where he admits to lying to someone and feeling decent about it. This part of the video was very important and revealing but will most likely go over everyone's head. Kendrick is opening the video by letting the audience know that he is lying to people but feels good about it. This is an obvious reference to the deceiver, the father of lies, and you will see what I mean in a second. 
Kendrick goes on to state that he thought his time was up, which doesn't make any sense, but it does if you know he's referring to Lucifer, whose time has been running out since the fall. To further prove Kendrick is referring to Lucifer, the therapist asks Kendrick why he texts her telling her he feels like he has fallen, again referring to Lucifer's fall from grace. Then in the very next scene, they show what appears to be a child dressed in red with wings on its back like a fallen angel. The child then ends up being Kendrick Lamar. This scene openly depicts Kendrick representing himself as the Antichrist, showing us exactly why he has been depicting himself as Christ in all his previous videos. Kendrick is worse than the other rappers because he pretends to be on our side, only to deceive and misguide us. Since the beginning, Kendrick has been a Masonic puppet. He was signed to TDE, the same label as Ab Soul, who is an open occultist that made an entire album dedicated to Aleister Crowley. The album was the, the same do without wilt, wilt. Um, which make to me brought me to Aleister Crowley. Correct. It's, it, and you know what Alice, you know who Aleister Crowley Absolutely. is, right? And and yeah. he was a magician, a poet, yeah. and he was also linked to Satanism. Yeah. In ways. And, and, yeah. and so what made you decide what does that mean to you? Yeah. When did you decide to name your project that? Um well, you know, you know what? You're the, you're the first one to bring up the Satanism, and I'm so glad that you did, because you did, because you know it's all church with me. Yeah, yeah. You know that. So, do what thou wilt immediately sounds like, you know, free will. Uh, Aleister Crowley um, has been influential throughout music, uh, entertainment, and uh, um, ideology and philosophy. The album's based on, on that quote, do what thou wilt, which is in the book, one of his books, uh, The Book of the Law. Mm. And uh, love is the law. Love is the only law. I respect that, because, you know, my main thing is ain't nothing wrong with a righteous man correct yeah yep. so uh i he, I, he, I'm, I really admire this guy it's, 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 break it's, the well i mean but you well, know see what he's saying is are you signing your li name on the dotted I, line are you, are you signing your soul away oh. no, no, yeah that's what he's uh, saying <laughs> are you in the illuminati no, i mean what you think i know but you know but <laughs> no, these but, are uh, questions no. to the root of things and um mr crowley has been um instrumental throughout music for a long for before i was born you know what i mean uh led zeppelin beatles um there's a lot of great artists that you know, are the um, building blocks for even hip-hop. Me, me understanding that, you know what I mean, and uh, you know, digging into his story and, you know, understanding why he's been so, you know, relevant and, you know, influential in music culture, you know, I think it was important for me to, you know, reinstill that. If you didn't know that, if you if you missed that part, you know, if you missed that part of the culture of music in general, it's beyond hip-hop, but just music in general, he's had a big influence on the culture. At first, at first sight, he's a, you know, he's the wickedest man alive, right? That's what he, you know, he's a very wicked man, but if you, if you dig into the poetry and you, you know, you read between the lines of his poetry, you know, you dig into his story, a lot of things will make more sense to you, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it made a lot of sense with me. A lot of the things that he discusses resonates with me. I just want to leave you with this. Uh, you know, my album is called Do Without Will, and it's based off, uh, it's influenced by, um, Crowley's The Book of the Law. Love, the lemma. Love is the law. Love is the only law. Love under will. The law is for all. If you read the Christian Bible. Kendrick is the same as Abso. He just hides his affiliation. I saw so many people praising Kendrick as a hero for exposing Drake and his fake beef. Kendrick didn't expose anything and Kendrick is just as bad as Drake. They are both Masonic puppets being used to deceive the masses. Just look at this picture of Kendrick Lamar and Taylor Swift. Look at the hand symbol Kendrick Lamar is doing and the fact that he is next to the witch Taylor Swift that I just did a video on exposing. This lets you know exactly what he's up to. Even in their music video is full of black and white duality imagery and a bunch of other occult imagery. Kendrick was chosen by the elite for a reason. He is being used to deceive God's righteous followers. Don't fall for these puppets, no matter how they present them, they are still puppets. Kendrick Lamar is the definition of a wolf in sheep's clothing. While he might appear like he's on our side and he's preaching a good message, when you peel the layers back, you truly see what he's really up to and he is guiding so many people away from God. Well, I'm gonna end this one here. But before you guys go, I just wanted to ask you guys to like, comment, and share this video so that it will be recommended to others. Also, if you want to help me further on this mission of exposing the truth, you can by becoming a Patreon member for 3 bucks a month. Patreon members get instant access to over 27 exclusive uncut, uncensored videos that are not allowed here on YouTube. If you want to join, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description. You can also check out the Truthist store and purchase some of the new official Truthist merch, like the new official Find the Truth t-shirt that's a hand-drawn design of truth investigating the occult. If you guys want to check out the merch, the link would also be in the description. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.